Now to the latest developments in the coronavirus outbreak, including the first death of an infant. Missouri and Illinois are both reporting a jump in cases today as more people get tested. Missouri now has 838 cases of COVID-19 with, with 10 deaths. Illinois reported more than 450 new cases, bringing its total to 3,491. Illinois also reported 13 additional deaths today, for now a total of 47. News 4's Vinton Blandon joins us live with more on the newest cases in Illinois. Vinny. Right now, Corey, as you know, I'm inside the garage here at News 4. That tornado watch has forced me inside, even though I'm not able to go into the newsroom due to us continuing to social distance ourselves. Now, Illinois Governor J.B. Prisker said of the 13 deaths announced since yesterday, two include a state employee and an infant under the age of one. The director of the state health department confirmed that infant did test positive for the coronavirus, but the director also said that no infant death has ever been associated with COVID-19. News 4 has learned there is an investigation underway to determine the cause of death. Now let's hear from the governor. We should grieve with uh, our family of state employees, with the many people who we've already lost to this virus, young and old. We should grieve for the loss of a sense of normalcy that we left behind just a few weeks ago. It's okay today to grieve. Governor Pritzker also announced some additional safety measures for Illinois grocery stores and other essential businesses that are open to the public. There will be signs telling customers to stay six feet apart. Stores will be installing plexiglass barriers to separate cashiers from customers, and stores will stop using resealable bags for now. Now, as you already know, the COVID-19 pandemic is causing a global effect. And coming up on News 410, you're going to hear from a man from St. Louis who's stuck in India due to the pandemic. Reporting live, Vincent Blandon, News 4.